Of all the species of trout, brookies are considered the easiest to catch. Also known as speckles, we have to agree they're bent on suicide in rivers and streams. In lakes, however, they're a true enigma as one of the most challenging fish in the swim. Early winter means consistent ice fishing on brook trout lakes. Then it's several months of slim pickings. This is followed by two days of incredible action as the last vestiges of ice melt away. After that, everything tapers off. By late spring through to autumn, many trout lakes appear devoid of fish altogether. It's as if those big brookies only feed a few days out of a year. Actually, during open water periods, that may very well be true. One thing is certain, barometric pressure plays a significant role in brook trout behavior. Cold fronts and low pressure systems shut the fish down for long periods of time. They can be seen lying belly to bottom. Indeed, they act more like largemouth bass, where extended periods of high pressure increase activity. Then throw in a thunderstorm and they go crazy, although you'd have to be crazy to be out there. In our experience, they prefer the same baits as bass. Wherever you find brookies, soft plastics and crankbaits really produce. All you have to do is keep an educated eye on the barometer and only head out on those very few perfect days. Ernest Schweibert once wrote, brook trout are like chamber music in a world filled with a cacophony of amplified sound. That great fly fisherman, innovator, and author of many books was, of course, referring to fly fishing for these special trout, also known as speckled. If ever a fish was designated to symbolize Canada, this would be it. Fly fishing is far and away the most rewarding and noble way to take these living jewels. Fact of the matter is, these square-tailed beauties are not particularly fussy when it comes to fly patterns and presentations making them perfect for anyone just getting into this sport. It's easy to become addicted to fly fishing for brookies. The only problem is that five month season seems awfully short. In most of the North Country, however, opening day for brook trout is January 1st, following the autumn spawning. With all that hard water, fly fishing gets a bit tough. We think we've found a solution. Prepare an ice fishing rod with a fly reel, sinking line, and a short leader. Add an assortment of weighted flies, and you're in business. During frigid weather, grease that line with WD-40 or Vaseline to prevent freezing. At the risk of looking a bit crazy or desperate, you can nearly double that fly fishing season.